Um, Graham, uh, to the American election, Joe Biden, uh, the uh, Democrat candidate, now he's 77, and you can be much older than 77 and still be really dynamic, but this bloke is showing more and more signs of being not quite with us anymore. Can I put it that? Here he is now, not sure where he actually is. Have a listen. Welcome to Kingswood Community Centre. Actually, that's the one down I used to work. That's a joke. You didn't know where we were. Anyway, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's great to be here. And uh, back uh, in a place where, uh, you know... Uh... He also lost his train of thought in that speech. Here he is. People are losing faith in what the president says. Think about it. What the words of a president matter significantly. So, Graham, I'm not surprised to now see him being led out by the arm as if his staff can't trust him to even walk across the street or to wherever he's meant to go next. Um, the election is in three months. Do the words President Biden scare you? Uh, not quite as much as President Trump, actually, mate. Um, look, he, he's made some, some silly mistakes. He clearly needs propping up. He's going to, if he ever wins, he's going to have to have good people around him. And, and I've got to tell you, having run around with prime ministers and whatnot, there are times where I don't know what blanket city I was in either. But he is making too many mistakes. And just imagine, in the last two, th two or three weeks of the campaign, what the Republicans are going to do with clips like that. And do you really want a man who, who fluffs his lines as president, they will say. But I tell you what, mate, um, he, he just seems to me to be a fraction more stable, if his memory's not much good, but a fraction more stable and less dangerous than the incumbent. And I think for the world that might be a good thing. Well, I can't agree with you there, but I won't have an argument. I'll leave it to Jacinta Price. Jacinta, <laughs> um, what do you make of that? Would you rather someone who's uh, senile or uh, Donald Trump as President of the United oh, States? Look, definitely um, <laughs> not somebody who's senile and certainly not somebody who, you know, throws out lines like, well, if you don't vote for Democrats, you ain't black. You know, especially when, when, when the man was an advocate for segregation back in the 70s, uh, you know, I think he didn't have it all together back then and he certainly doesn't have it together right now. <laughs> what about to Graham's point that he'd rather, you know, that uh, he can't stand Donald Trump and uh, anyone uh, is better than Donald Trump, essentially? Well, I, I'd have to disagree with that. I think, I think there's a few things that Donald has done, um, particularly for, you know, the African-American uh, population and... You know, in the fact that he's in, increased employment for the African American population, and and it continues to, I guess he treats uh, the government like a business, if you like, uh, and and he's done wonders for the American economy in that regard. So, and I do think he's a far far more coherent than our Joe Biden. <laughs> Graham, can I just take you uh, until the coronavirus uh, thing hit and all the economies got knocked? Uh, African-American unemployment, historic lows. Uh, minority employment, unemployment, historic lows. It's taken on China, which is very, very important. Disengage the economy much more from China, very important. Uh, foreign affairs, uh, what he's done for Israel, I think has been very, very good. Um, basically, what's your beef with him? I don't think he has the character, the wit, the intelligence, the integrity, the grace, nor he's dealing with women to hold that office. Um, character is really important in politics and I think he's lacking.